from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, March the 28th, 2022. Two Israeli border police officers were murdered yesterday in a terror attack in the city of Hadera. Shirel Abu Karat and Yezen Falah, both 19 years of age, were gunned down by two Arab Israeli terrorists said to be supporters of the Islamic State. Several others were injured. The terrorists, who were heavily armed, opened fire on the two officers on Hadera's main street last night and shooting at other passers-by as well in the area before both were shot dead by members of an undercover Israeli unit who happened to be eating at a nearby restaurant. The two slain officers were laid to rest today in their respective hometowns. Shirel was from Netanya. Her family immigrated to Israel from France in 2006. Yezen was from Kisra Sumay, a Druze village in the Galilee. Shirel and Yezen served at the same army base. A photo of the two of them together was taken just hours before their deaths. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett vowed to do more to prevent such deadly attacks. He said the heart breaks over the deaths of border police officers Shirel Abu Karat and Yezen Falah, who fell defending civilians from abhorrent murderers. We will not forget their heroism. Noting this was the second terrorist attack inside Israel by Islamic State supporters requires, he said, the security forces to adjust quickly to the new threat, and we will do so. Referring there to the stabbing and ramming attack in the city of Beersheba last Tuesday that left four Israelis dead. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who is visiting Israel, addressed the Hadera attack in his comments to the Negev summit, which took place today in the southern town of Stebokher. On behalf of President Biden, the American people, we extend our heartfelt condolences to the loved ones of the victims, Yazin Falah and Sharil Abu Karat. No family should have to experience such loss. And we stand in absolute solidarity with our friends and partners against terrorism and these horrific acts of, of violence. The historic gathering brought together the foreign ministers of Israel as well as of Egypt, Bahrain, Morocco and the United Arab Emirates, who all jointly condemned the terror attack in Hadera. Israel's foreign minister, Yair Lapid, said the Negev summit will become a permanent forum moving forward with hopes for a better tomorrow. Together with our closest friend and ally, the United States, we are today opening a door before all the peoples of the region, including the Palestinians, and offering them to replace the way of terror and destruction with shared future of progress and success. Secretary Blinken arrived in Israel this weekend and met with Israeli Prime Minister Bennett in Jerusalem, where he said we discussed regional and global challenges, including President Putin's brutal war in Ukraine. In these difficult times, the U.S.-Israel partnership, Blinken said, is stronger than ever. Blinken met with other Israeli leaders and officials, including with President Isaac Herzog and with Defense Minister Benny Gantz, as well as with Lapid. He also met with the leaders of Palestinian civil society in Jerusalem and with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas in Ramallah. Well, in another sign of strength and resilience from Ukraine, a Ukrainian refugee who just fled the country to Poland with her young daughter weeks ago, won the women's race of the Jerusalem Marathon on Friday. 32-year-old Valentina Varetska ran the 26.2-mile race with a time of 2 hours, 45 minutes, and 54 seconds. Wynette cited Varetska saying she ran, she said, for my family and friends, I knew I needed to do my best. That's how my voice will be heard. It's for them, for the people of Ukraine. Varetska's husband remains in Ukraine to fight. Turning now to some entertainment news, the 94th Academy Awards were held last night in Hollywood. Jewish winners included renowned composer Hans Zimmer for Best Original Score for Dune 
and David Dinnerstein, a co-producer of the best documentary feature, Summer of Soul, or When the Revolution Could Not Be Televised. The Oscars were also co-hosted by Jewish comedian and actress Amy Schumer, who emceed the night alongside fellow comedians and actresses Wanda Sykes and Regina Hall. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Monday, March the 28th at 7 o'clock, Israel Prize laureate Alice Shalvey reflects on her life's journey. At 8, Abigail Pogerbin speaks with legendary shoe impresario Stuart Weitzman about the Jewish museum he saved, why his designs were groundbreaking, and how Aretha Franklin changed his business. At 9, part 1 of Mark Golub's interview with Tal Keenan. At 10, the late Elie Wiesel and Eric Kandel speak at the 92nd Street Y. And coming up next, Shachar Azani speaks with the Jewish agency's Egal Palmor, who talks about his organization's campaign to help Jews make Aliyah now from the Ukraine and Russia. The Jewish agencies work to keep Jews safe and their efforts to assist all Ukrainian refugees. And that's the JBS News Update for Monday, March the 28th, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.